Hello and welcome to another Q&A with me, Sam. So I've been a little sick, a little under the weather, so I thought now is a perfect time to do a Q&A because, you know, it doesn't require much strenuous activity, like fingerboarding. So yeah, I went on Instagram and YouTube combined and told you guys to ask me some questions. So I'm gonna scroll through both of those things, pick out my favorite ones, and answer them. It's gonna be a good old time. All right, first question. We want an update on the cat. There's more of a statement. Well, guess what? I have an update. Here he is. We got Ozzy. He's a happy old man. He's so stoked to be in this video. We also found out he's uh, like 16 or 17. He's not 17 or 18. Well, he could, I guess he could be 17 still. But yeah, he's potentially one year younger than we thought. So that's that's great. Isn't that great, Ozzy? Okay, I'm gonna let you sleep. Yeah, he's doing wonderful. He, uh, he eats well, drinks well. He doesn't really play. He just kind of does whatever. Walks around and lays down. But yeah, he's a great kitty and we are very stoked to keep him. What was your favorite Lego set to build? I have been building Legos, which is why he asked that question. This one. This is a tall neck from uh, Horizon. You know, Horizon Zero Dawn slash Horizon Forbidden West. It was so much fun to build. It, it took like a pretty long time too. But look, we got a little, uh, whatever you call him, Raptor guy. And then we got Aloy being Aloy. Super cool. Uh, my, my other favorite that I'm not done with yet is a Bowser that I've been working on. And I think that's probably gonna top this one because that one, dude, it's big. Yeah, that one's gonna be sick once it's complete. But yeah, I'm kind of addicted to uh, building Legos at the moment, to be honest. So much fun. It's like therapeutic. Going off of the Lego question, Question. Would you make a series where you build Lego sets considering you have a lot of unbuilt sets? I actually have toyed around with that idea and I think it would be fun to maybe like do a stream sometime of me building the set and just talking to you guys. Uh, I think it'd be really fun. I don't know how well a video series would do, but maybe I could try that too. Uh, but yeah, for sure. Potentially. Potentially for sure. Next question is for my friend The Elucin. Hello, Illy. Favorite part about being a YouTuber? Uh, there's a lot of parts that I really like about it. Very lucky to have this job. Uh, but I would say probably traveling and meeting the people that I've met. Yeah, some of my best friends I've met uh, through this job and uh, I'm very grateful for that. Plus like I have an excuse to like go to different places around the country and the world if I wanted to. I've only been outside of the country once to Canada. But yeah, I would definitely say like traveling is, is probably the best part. And now that I don't just upload skateboarding on this channel and I kind of have the freedom to upload whatever, that's kind of nice because I, I feel like I can kind of film what I want and do what I want now that I've been around for like 10 years on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, how did you overcome the demotivation stages while trying to grow on YouTube? By this, I'm talking about how you kept going and pushing through the moments where you weren't getting any views or subscribers when you first started. Uh, I was like incredibly pumped when I first started YouTube. It was also like a totally different thing back then. Like 300 views to me back then was like amazing. But there definitely were time periods where I uh, was not growing or like stagnant ness happened. That's not a word. And I think the answer to how to overcome that for me was I'm really stubborn and I'm kind of hard on myself. So I'm like, hey, what am I doing wrong? And then I like overthink everything and try to fix the thing that I'm doing wrong, which a lot of the times inspires like some creativity and makes me change some things up. Like for example, uh, one of the toughest parts in YouTube was right before I started my gaming channel, I felt like it was just kind of like staying the same, like nothing was really growing. So uh, I completely started up this brand new thing. And now that channel is like about to be bigger than this channel, which is really funny. So uh, I say, I, I say try new things, try new ideas. And if you're not getting views, a lot of the times it's just like the algorithm or the time of year. It's not always your fault, like for real. And yeah, just have fun with it. As, as cliche as that sounds, if you are enjoying the videos you're making, that's the most important thing. Are you ever going to land a backflip? Oh. Yes. What happened to the beauty spot under your left eye? Is that what that's called? I thought it was just a mole. Uh, it was actually under my right eye, uh, but I went to the eye doctor, not for that, like just for annual uh, vision stuff. And the doctor looked at it and they were like, hey, that doesn't look good. And I, it kind of scared me. Uh, so we got it removed and they sent it in for testing and uh, nothing was wrong with it. So I, it, it's, it kind of worked out because I wanted to get it removed anyway. And the fact that they were like, hey, get it removed. I was like, uh, yep, let's do it. So yeah, now I don't, I don't have it. Which is really great too, because uh, it was getting bigger and people thought I had like a speck of dirt under my eye at all times. Like that happened like once a week. So uh, it doesn't happen anymore. Nice. What got you into climbing? So I haven't really made any climbing videos yet, but I have been obsessed uh, with rock climbing or bouldering. That's what I've been doing. And I don't really know what got me into it. Uh, I went climbing with my friend Eric a couple years ago and honestly didn't really care for it that much, mainly because the gym was just really packed and we were kind of like standing in line for our turn to go. And then everyone's just kind of staring at you 
and it feels weird. But I don't know, I just got like the urge to go again. So me and uh, my buddy uh, that, you know, are very new to climbing, we've been like once. We went when the gym was like completely empty and we had so much fun. It's basically like a playground for adults. It's, it's seriously so fun. Uh, I'm addicted to it. I go like twice a week now and my arms hurt. I get like gnarly tennis elbow that I'm working on. But yeah, if you wanna see some climbing videos, let me know. Uh, here's some, here's some of my most recent routes. Is that the terminology? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, it, it's not only like really, really fun, but it's also a great workout. Uh, and I'm, uh, I, I like working out, so heck yeah. Any plans to go climbing outside the gym soon? Uh, yes, indeed. That same friend, Eric, uh, goes climbing outside and uh, he wants me to come visit him so we can do some of that stuff. And I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. I just do bouldering. I haven't really done top rope or anything like that, really. So yeah, we're gonna see We're gonna see what that's all about. But definitely we'll be making a video of that, so stay tuned. Have you ever been casted in any movies because you look like an actor? Yeah, I was in uh, Spider-Man. I wasn't. Uh, however, I recently uh, was an extra in a movie, and I'm not gonna say the name of the movie because I really wanna see if anyone sees the movie and notices me in it. It's kind of like a, a game I'm playing. But yeah, this movie, I think it's gonna be on Netflix. If not Netflix, it's gonna be on some streaming service. But uh, yeah, I play someone in a movie in the background. And if you guys see me, you're gonna be like, why is he in this movie? And honestly, I don't know. I wanted to try out acting. So I got an extra role in, in something to see how the day goes with it. And honestly, I uh, didn't really like the whole experience that much. I don't know if I would like acting that much, but uh, maybe if it was like a cool role or something, I, I would. But yeah, I do want to see if anyone uh, finds this. If you if you see the movie whenever it comes out, which I don't know when it comes out, if you see me, tag me, uh, because I, honestly, I want to see it too. I don't know when the movie releases. What is your favorite collab you did? I'm pretty sure I said this in the last Q&A. Uh, I don't know what my favorite one is because I've done collabs with some like really cool people. But the one that comes to my m to mind, the most recent one is uh, with William Spencer because I love that dude and I've been watching him since I was like a kid. He was like one of my favorite skaters slash stunt men. So yeah, uh, doing a backflip with William Spencer was one of my, one of the most memorable uh, collabs that I've ever done. That was e extremely fun. Do you have a personal hairstylist or do you go to a barber shop? I do not have my own personal hairstylist. I do go to the same person pretty much every single time I get my hair cut though. It's a barber shop. I, I guess here's me. I'm going through my hair routine. I get a little shorter on the sides, a little longer on the top. I actually need a haircut. Wow. Shampoo once a week, conditioner every day. After you condition, you got to use a little serum, a little anti-frizz serum. And then you got to use that stronghold clay to put in your hair. Okay. If you got thick hair like me, that's what you got to do. Okay. It, you will look like Andrew Garfield officially if you do that all right guys that was all the questions thank you so much to those uh that that asked questions and if you're a, a thing wow if your question wasn't in this video uh stay tuned because i'm gonna be doing more q a's in the future probably when, the next time i'm sick hope you guys enjoyed this though if you did give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button click the notification bell to never miss an upload oh yeah follow me on instagram at samuel Tabor if you want to participate next time i have a gaming channel you can check out by clicking the card right there and a store at samtaborstore.com goodbye Oh, you don't like the microphone? Okay, sorry.